bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, Mary's Praise to God. Our scriptures are found in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 39 through 56. In this week's lesson, we are yet looking at Gabriel's assignment with Mary and its effect. It is about 7 or 6 BC, and for the sake of understanding, we are examining some of the details of the lies and angelic encounters of Mary, Elizabeth, and Zacharias. In last week's lesson, we stated that Zacharias would not have sent word to Mary concerning his angelic encounter with Gabriel, but this week we'll point out that Gabriel did tell Mary about his visit to her cousin Elizabeth. This is important to know because it shows us one of the things that helped to increase Mary's faith. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Elizabeth had been unable to have a child, but God was working a miracle in her life. If God could do that, surely he could cause Mary to become pregnant, and this was encouraging information that Mary needed to know. Let's briefly revisit Zacharias and that he would not have sent word to Mary about his angelic encounter. One of the reasons is because he was a priest and information such as this would not be loosely thrown about as gossip. He wouldn't have viewed Mary as important enough to send a message to. Also, Zacharias now had more urgent and pressing matters to deal with. His priestly duties were done for now. He was headed home to his wife Elizabeth. He had doubted the word of God, and as a result, he could neither speak nor hear, and his wife didn't know it yet. Contacting Mary to tell her about Gabriel, not even knowing that she would have a visit, was probably the last thing on his mind. Mary, a teenage girl, would now make a 70-mile, three-day journey to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, whom God filled with the Holy Ghost as Mary arrived, was able, by divine revelation, to not only already know that Mary was pregnant, but that Mary's child would be the Savior. Elizabeth, who was an older woman, was humble and not only knew the plan of God for both Mary and herself and their sons, she submitted to it, calling Mary the most blessed of all women and her son the most honored of all mankind. Elizabeth had waited many years to have a child and unborn baby John jumped when Jesus, who was still in the womb, came near. Elizabeth was speaking a word of knowledge from Holy Ghost. Mary's hymn or song of praise to God states, My soul doth magnify the Lord. Mary's song reveals her deep love and study of God's word. 
We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.